What's up guys, it's me Skylar. So I have a cold, as you can tell. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a Q&A slash update on my life. So yeah, you guys asked me a bunch of questions so I'm super excited to answer them. So let's get into the video. I haven't done a sitting video in so long. The first question is, what levels do you coach? If you don't already know, I am a gymnastics coach. I coach the compulsory girls. So I coach from level two to level five. So that's two, three, four, five. I actually started out, I don't know if I told the story already, but I actually started out with just going to this gymnastics place for an adult gymnastics class. They offered me a recreational job as a coach, so I would just be coaching like the rec part of the team, which is just like, you know, like the fun gymnastics classes where it's like not competitive. So I did that for like a month, and then they kind of bumped me up to the competitive coach area. So now I am with the team, and I love all the girls there. We're in upgrade season now. I mean, the question was just what level do you coach? So the basic answer is, two through five because you can see my cat is over here anyways so the next question is do you have an agent for your acting yes i do have an agent i actually have several agents i was with an agency for about five or six years and i was with them for you know a decent amount of time so recently i just changed agency so i am now with aefh talent i'm also with cesd for voiceover and i also have a manager and his name is james Symington talent management my first agent aefh is for like theatrical and commercials and my my CSD voiceover is just for my voice, like animation, and then my last one is my manager, so he manages my whole career. So blessed, so excited that I get to be working with them. Okay, so I got another question because I posted a video of me crying. What happened to your cat? Obviously, it's not this cat. So you guys might know my other cat, Malibu. She was in a bunch of my videos. She was a great cat. She was so cute. She was amazing. She passed away in March, and I was devastated. I was crying my eyes out, but she was really struggling towards the end of her life. She lost a lot of weight. She was like three pounds, and she wasn't really eating that much, and just kind of lethargic. It was like kind of like this thing where she hurt her toe, so we we all thought that she just hurt herself that's why she wasn't eating but it turns out that she had lung cancer we didn't know when we took her to the vet we had to put her down I personally cannot be in the room when an animal is put down so I just stood outside I just sat in the lobby and they had the TV on so I was watching Phineas and Ferb so I know that's kind of a weird thing to like say when my cat was being put down but I was watching Phineas and Ferb when she was put down I guess to like distract myself okay and another person and ask what kind of voiceover do you do? So I assume that you are asking like if I do it for audiobooks, commercials, or animation. I mainly audition for animation and video games. I've never actually auditioned for video games until this year now that I'm with my new agent and it's honestly pretty cool. I've been taking a few workshops and it's not something you think about because it's like oh video games like you don't think of like the character voice you know i don't know if you guys want me to make like a detailed video of voiceover let me know down in the comments how old are you i just turned 22 in april i know that i don't look my age and i get comments about it all the time saying that i'm lying or that why do you look 12 and 21 at the same time which i never understood that one but yeah i'm 22 i don't look my age but it honestly helps my acting and when i get old like 50 i'm not gonna look 50 and you're gonna be jealous so yeah stop making fun of me okay we have three more questions what's your most embarrassing coaching moment Honestly, I haven't been coaching for like 10 years, so I'm trying to like think of one, but I've been coaching since November of 2023, and currently it's May of 2024. I think my most embarrassing moment, I think I've talked about it on here before, is I first started coaching my team girls, and I stood on this gray beam, and I was just standing there watching them. All of a sudden, I just like kind of leaned back, and my feet slipped out from under me, and like the beam, it was like a small beam, and the bee like flipped and I fell on my back or like near my butt right on the concrete in front of my girls. It was so embarrassing, but we still talk about it to this day. It was honestly so embarrassing. Have you ever messed up in an audition? Yes. 
I don't really remember, but I know when I was younger because I went up to LA when I was seven and I was doing like auditions and I know that I went in that room and I blew it and I was just like goofing around. I know that that's happened to me. I remember I was auditioning for an agency when I was seven and I went in the room and the agent had me do like a scene from a movie where my mom had died and I was like bawling my eyes out like, my mom, I don't want my mom to die. I don't want my mom to die. And he's like, no, sweetie, it's just a script. It's not real. And I was like, no, how dare you ever say my mom would die. And I was just like so rude to him. And it was so embarrassing for my mom, especially. I don't honestly think that I've had like really embarrassing moments in my auditions because everything is self-taped now. But I have looked back at my old auditions for voiceover and some of the audio is so bad. Like, girl, there's no way you thought that sounded good. Like, if the casting director put that on, their eardrums would have been blown out from how pitchy and loud it was. Yeah, I actually got a new microphone. I'm super excited about it. Thank you to Tony, my voiceover coach, and Joel from Sweetwater. You're the best. Now my voiceover sound top notch. What's your favorite event to coach? Well, I coach vault, beam, and we all coach bars. My favorite event has to be beam. I love coaching beam, and I also love training on beam. Beam all the way. I love beam. I think it's literally the best event. I know some people tend to disagree, but I don't know. I love coaching it because I love seeing the girls get new skills on high beam, and I love like stacking the mats and then lowering the mats. I I feel like that's like my favorite thing in the whole world. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little sick vlog slash Q&A slash update video. I honestly don't really know what it was. Hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video. Please pray for my nose because I cannot breathe. Bye guys.